This video is sponsored by Altium. More on that later. Anyone who has intermediate knowledge of computers would have heard about YOLO algorithms. YOLO stands for You Only Look Once, and V7 refers to the seventh version. YOLO is an amazing algorithm that gives solutions to many real-life computer vision problems. YOLO has been used in detecting traffic signs, objects, people's exam proctoring, gaming bots, and various industrial automation tools. So let's dive deep into the subject. In this video, we are going to cover what is YOLO, a detailed understanding of object detection, the different versions of YOLO algorithms, and at last, the significance of your YOLO V7, understanding why we need to learn YOLO V7. Let's go straight to the first topic. What is YOLO? YOLO is an algorithm that uses neural networks to provide real-time object detection. The algorithm is so popular because of its speed and accuracy. Each version of YOLO got better and better with advanced features and working mechanisms, making it a go-to choice for object detection problems. Usually, a neural network model goes through both forward and backward propagation in order to predict, but in YOLO, the model undergoes only forward propagation, making the model run faster and consume fewer resources, which in turn leads to less cost. YOLO comes under a single-state object detector, so let's understand single-state object detectors by diving deep into object detection. Object detection is a process that involves detecting objects in images and videos. The ability of an algorithm to differentiate between a cat and a dog is object detection. Object detection answers two questions that users ask. Where is the object located in the image or video, and what kind of an object is it? To find where the object is located is called detection, and to find what kind of an object is called recognition. The detection part is where the bounding boxes come into place, and the recognition part is where the class probability, meaning the class name of the output, is predicted. In this image, we can see the red bounding box and the class name, car or person, given on the bounding box is called the class prediction. Object detection can be classified into two categories, two-stage object detection and one-stage object detection. The stage here refers to the processes. For example, the two processes of two-stage object detection are detecting the possible bounding box region in which the object might be present and classifying that object according to the class object provider. Some of the commonly used two-stage object detection algorithms include RCNN, FastRCNN, FasterRCNN, MaskRCNN, and RFCN. The one-stage object detection process is nothing but combining both detecting the possible bounding box region in which an object might be present and classifying that object according to the object class in a single stage together. Algorithms like YOLO made this possible by making an intuition neural network that makes detection and class probability prediction simultaneously. This process increases the speed and accuracy to a larger extent. The cost was also lower. By the way, if you ever wanted to implement computer vision on a Jet Nano but can't really find one, maybe it's due to the chip shortage or something like that, well, I've got great news for you because there's a company called Octopart where you can find Jet Nanos and Raspberry Pis amongst many Edge AI hardware. Octopart is like the Google for electronics parts but integrates seamlessly into Altium and this allows you to design custom printed circuit boards. So if you are into designing custom hardware for your computer vision enabled cameras, then Altium Designer is the most reliable software for your company or project. You can get access to a free 15 day trial of Altium Designer and access Octopart in the links down below. Coming to the versions of YOLO, since the release of YOLO V1 in 2015, the algorithm has gained immense popularity among competitors and the community. Furthermore, the updated versions of V2, V3, V4, V5, V6, and much recently, YOLO V7, have been released so far. The first YOLO model was introduced by Joseph Redmond in their 2015 paper titled, You Only Look Once, Unified Real-Time Object Detection. Until then, RCNN models were the most advanced models for object detection. Although the RCNN family of models was accurate, but was relatively slow because it was a multi-step process of finding the proposed regional bounding boxes and then classifying these regions, and finally doing post-processing to refine the output. But after YOLO v3, Joseph quit the YOLO project, stating that the computer vision was too powerful to handle and can be misused. So YOLO v4 was not released by Joseph Redmond, but by Alexei. 
YOLO V5 was released in 2020 by the company Ultralytics, just a few days after YOLO V4. YOLO V6 and V7 were released in 2022, which are much closer together. There have been some variants released in between like YOLO R, YOLO X, and PP YOLO, with their own improvement from the previously released versions. Significance of YOLO V7 First, we need to understand that there were two YOLO V7 models released. The one we are going to learn about is the official YOLO V7 released by the same person who released YOLO V4, Alexi. While some models prefer to predict images properly, YOLO V7 can handle videos efficiently, surpassing all known object directors in both speed and accuracy. The range of video it can handle ranges from 5 FPS to 160 FPS. FPS refers to frames per second. In a 24 FPS video, one second contains 24 individual images stacked together to form a continuous video. YOLO V7 has the highest accuracy, 56.8%, AP among all real-time object detectors, with 30 FPS or higher. AP refers to average precision. YOLO V7 outperforms YOLO R, YOLO X, scaled YOLO V4, YOLO V5, and many more object detectors in terms of speed and accuracy. Both YOLO V4 and V7 use the Bag of Freebies model, which we'll be learning further in this tutorial. But YOLO V7 has 75% fewer parameters compared to YOLO V4, which means less size and space, making the model run more efficiently. This also makes it possible for the model to take 36% less computational time to run the model. Finally, the average precision of YOLO V7 is 1.5 times higher than YOLO V4, making it a better alternative than its predecessors. I'm going to show you how to train YOLO V7 on a custom dataset. So this tutorial is based on the official YOLO V7 repository by Wang King Yu.